What's up, Beta Nation? Welcome to DAP Central, your home for everything blockchain and crypto. My name's Fareed. As a part of today's video, we're reviewing some breaking news with the fact that Emergo has officially partnered up with Ibex by Antler, which is a brand new early stage startup and investment platform. So as a part of today's video, I want to talk about what exactly is Ibex, who's Antler, but then I also want to talk about a general conversation going on here in the ecosystem about VCs and the Cardano treasury. As always, if you enjoy content like this, please make sure to smash that thumbs up on the way in. If it's your first time stopping by, consider subscribing. And last but not least, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, then make sure to leave those down below. Now we're going to just jump straight on in here. I want to read a brief snippet, then we're going to sort of back up and then jump back into Antler and talk about the potential opportunities that we're getting with brand new liquidity and investment opportunities for all the projects building in the ecosystem. So this states, Emergo is proud to announce a strategic partnership with Ibex, the corporate innovation arm within Antler Global, one of the world's most active and early stage investment platforms. Now I'm going to back up here just a little bit. If you guys have missed the conversation around early stage investors or VCs for short, there's been a pretty big debate going on about a platform or a proposal coming out by the three UTXO team. Now, for the sake of time, I'm not going to be able to rehash everything. I've got a fully dedicated video breaking down the entire topic. But to make a long story short, we've got a team of Cardano based builders who are aiming to propose um, that they get the ability to manage. I believe it's nearly 200 million ADA. Now, that number can obviously change um, from the Cardano Treasury to act as a decentralized VC arm to support Cardano based projects. Now, why is this important? With governance that has just officially launched, we've now have the ability for anybody to request funds directly from the treasury. Now, in addition to that, I think it goes without saying that a lot of projects within Cardano right now need that liquidity. The only issue is that we're not getting any new liquidity coming in from outside investors or outside venture capitalists. So it seems like the team at Emergo has um, been really focusing to try to make this a reality and as more proposals very similar to 3UTXO come about, I think there's going to be more pressure on entities like Emergo to go ahead and either allow for somebody within the ecosystem to do something like this or for them to partner with somebody who has the experience, the ability, and the foresight to actually get this done as an outsider. So it seems like they've taken that particular route here with this recent partnership with Ibex by Antler. Now, I do also want to remind you guys here that we have seen a very similar partnership coming out between Emergo and GSR, who's a market maker and a liquidity provider who has also vowed to incubate or to provide funding to early stage products or projects. So I'm going to swing back and talk about this particular bit here towards the end of today's video. But I did want to remind the community that we do have Emergo doing their best here in order to um, really provide the builders here in the ecosystem with a fair opportunity and fair liquidity, right, to be able to get their product across the finish line. Now, as always, I'll leave the link to this official article down below. I want to briefly recap some of the main points, and then we'll dive into Antler, and then we'll dive specifically into Ibex, which is their innovation and investment arm. So it states here, Ibex is a brand new initiative by Antler designed as a sector-specific innovation and investment platform. It aims to assist corporations in transforming their approach to technological development by fostering collaborations with startups. Now, I believe every project building here in the ecosystem is classified or can be classified as a startup. However, there is one critical caveat here that I do want to highlight, um, which is actually highlighted here in green. So it says here that their goal is to invest and identify and drive growth of global founders and startup projects solving and this is the important piece here critical real world problems leveraging fintech and web3 so it seems like this will be focusing more or less on some of the um more real world use case projects in the ecosystem and it's not a knock on any other type of project out there but i realize that in this current space there's a lot of projects but only so many dealing with real world use cases or real world impact that somebody outside of the space might actually be able to understand or grab a hold of. Now, in that particular realm, I can think of projects, for example, like World Mobile, Book.io, Cornucopias from a gaming perspective. You know, these are all projects where anybody that hasn't even heard of crypto 
could understand what the problem is. And they may not necessarily understand that those problems are being solved using blockchain technology, for example, like World Mobile, right? Connecting the unconnected or even book.io when it comes to digital rights ownership. But people understand that generally speaking, you know, there is a shortcoming when it comes to internet connectivity. There is a shortcoming when it comes to being the owner of your own assets and not having to um, forego, you know, your ability to resell something um, because you're only purchasing something off of a secondary market. So these are the types of bits of adoption that we need. Now, moving on, it states here that they also aim to tackle key industry challenges in fostering the sustainable and consistent development of commercial Web3 solutions. They'll also aim to build a robust financial tech stack that is interoperable with Cardano and other adopted Web3 technologies. So think of this um, brand new partnership with Ibex sort of as a way not only to provide support directly to Cardano based projects, but a way to also become interoperable moving forward. If they're able to build out their own robust Web3 tech stack and they're able to gain liquidity and adoption through that, and maybe they also even partner up with other ecosystems, that now also makes Cardano um, interoperable or that also makes Cardano that much closer to whoever else they choose to partner up with. Now, heading over to the official Antler website, I'll leave the link to it down below. We can see here that they've invested in over 1,000 companies since 2018, where they've been able to overcome meaningful challenges and provide opportunities across six different continents. Now, the founders that they back for these different companies are visionaries who are determined and diverse, where they represent a total of 145 different nationalities and where 32% of the companies that they've backed have at least one woman as a founder. So really exciting opportunity here for the entire Cardano ecosystem. Now, from here, we can review their existing portfolio where they list a ton of different companies, some of them in fintech, some of them in media and communications, some of them in Web3. We've also got property technology, security, AI. I mean, you name it, they have at least backed one company in that particular sector. So from an experience standpoint, this is exactly what we want to see. Now, I'm going to back out here just a little bit and also highlight some questions that I personally have as to how this could actually move forward. The first is around where the actual funds um, to support this partnership are coming from. Keep in mind that we've just launched governance, meaning that anybody in the Cardano community, including the three founding entities, now have the ability to propose the withdrawal and the usage of Cardano-based funds. And I'm wondering if the funds um, for this particular partnership will be coming directly from the Cardano treasury in any way, shape, or form. Number two is exactly how much funds can we expect for a platform like Ibex to invest in the Cardano ecosystem? Will that be tens of millions, hundreds of millions, or even potentially billions, right? So these are things that we don't necessarily have the answer to just yet as a part of that article, but I think that it's really good for the Cardano community to begin at least asking about that particular process. Now, in addition, they don't also mention how many projects you're looking to invest in, which I personally don't believe will be a set cap. However, keep in mind that they can't necessarily invest in everybody, right? So how do they go about vetting different projects? How do they go about actually making this a fair process for anybody, right, to be able to apply for funding? And then what are some of the requirements or some of the guardrails to make sure that, you know, the funding that's coming out of this particular partnership isn't going towards NFTs or meme coins or just a lot of projects that are built in this space that lack a lot of utility or real world use cases, right? So again, it's not a knock on anybody building here, but I realize that not all projects that are building um, necessarily deserve this type of capital from a VC or from a venture capital startup. Now, jumping to the official team who's operating or who's leading Ibex, again, the innovation and investment arm for Antler. Um, we've got a lot of experience here touching on Fortune 500 companies, different um, VC funds, and other accelerators. We've also got different members who are coming from a background with support of Sony, BMW, and BlackBerry. And then we've also got other members here who've got pretty big backgrounds when it comes to ad tech startups. Scrolling down, we've got two listed advisors here, and then we've got different partners, which include Google, IBM, Schmidt, um, HSBC, and then Microsoft for startups. Now, one other thing that I do want to quickly highlight here is the fact that on their official website, they do touch on some of the concerns that the community had when it came to supporting a platform like 3UTXO, which basically highlights the fact that the majority of startups do fail, that 
um, in-house accelerators typically tend to struggle in that there's usually a misalignment between innovation and strategy. So hopefully a platform like Ibex, a team that's as strong as them can guide any of the onboarded projects in the right direction moving forward. Now, as I get ready to close out here, I want to keep this update relatively brief. I did mention the fact that um, the team at Emergo had already partnered with GSR, again, who's a liquidity and a market maker here in the um, general blockchain and crypto space. And one of the items that they had there in terms of the support that they'd be providing to the Cardano ecosystem is to number one, increase the user interoperability, but then number two, which is right up here, which is to identify venture investment opportunities in Cardano projects. So this appears to be a theme moving forward, more and more VC adoption. And keep in mind that we do um, already have a little bit of VC adoption here, for example, through Waffle Capital and Yori, who's actually one of the members who's on the 3UTXO team. And then we also even have Wave Fund, which I believe Charles Hoskinson is a part of, which reinvest or which is investing in the Cardano ecosystem. So that'll do it here for today's video. Again, want to provide you guys an update here with some of that breaking news with Antler uh, Global and Ibex, their innovation arm, officially partnering up there with Emergo. While we still have a lot of unanswered questions, this is at least a good step in the right direction. And again, I'm not sure if this was spurred out of the recent conversation between 3UTXO or if the team at Emergo already sort of had this in the pipes. However, I think that moving forward, this is the types of partnerships that we want to see, whether or not, um, again, this is um, spurred by other conversations. Now, that said, if you guys found any portion of today's video to be helpful, as always, I would appreciate you if you could smash that thumbs up. If it's your first time stopping by Dab Central and you want more content like this, breaking down all of the latest announcements in Cardano, consider subscribing. And last but not least, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, make sure to leave those down below. That said, and as always, I'll see you guys in the next video.